go ahead and get started. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's good to see everybody this morning. We've uh, we've done the other classes, so we're we're going to do the, the senior student awards assembly here in just a second. But before we get started, we have we have some special guests here from the uh, Chamber of Commerce, and they have a couple of awards to present. So I want to introduce uh, Mr. E.B. Barnes, who works at uh, Centennial Bank as a loan officer over there. I thought he might be the president by now, but he soon probably will be. Uh, but Mr. Barnes is going to present these awards. So without further ado, Mr. Barnes. Thank you very much, Coach. Senior class, is that right? When do y'all leave? How many days? Somebody knows. <laughs> Enjoy the next few days, everybody. I was just there a few years ago. Before I start, I wanted to share something that came to me in an email this morning. Uh, as you graduate high school and you get into your career, you will see emails come through every day. and You must be responsive to them just like you are now to your teachers. So today I wanted to share something with you. This came from my corporate office today, and it said, how to set goals and achieve them. And I'll be very honest, I don't always open these emails, but I did today. So on this one, it says, decide, make a goal, which is an idea of the future or a desired result that gave a person or group or people in vision and plan to commit to achieve that goal. Setting a goal for yourself and establishing the steps necessary to achieve that goal is just the beginning. It says, ask yourself, what do you expect to achieve? So you can ask yourself that question here in the next coming months, what do you expect to achieve? Will it result in a specific outcome? Are you setting a goal to improve your productivity? And whatever the case is, be specific. Having a well-defined plan will enable you to take each step towards achieving your desired result. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Uh, make a plan, and if you stick to it, you will accomplish it. So write it down, plan your steps, keep going, and then celebrate whenever you achieve that goal. So today, we are here as the Spring River Area Chamber of Commerce. I just wrapped up two years as the president of the board. My executive director is Carrie Hollis. She and I worked together for two years, had a great time. And the new incoming president, which is now the president, is Ms. Lauren Siebert with Hallmark Times that you may see on Facebook or other areas of the internet. So our board is here today and we have an award and it's pretty special to us. We started this back in 2018. It's the Future Leader Award. So I'll just go in with a description here for you all to know what we're doing. Uh, the Future Leaders Award is the junior award to the Spring River Area Chamber of Commerce E. Wilson Green Award. The E. Wilson Green Award is a unique and specific honor. It is a one-time, lifetime achievement award, and it is given to a person or persons or a group that is chosen by the community who is dynamically focused on the best interest of the community, which is volunteering their time and talent for the better of the community. It is the true for the same of the Future Leaders Award. The Future Leaders Award that we're going to present today was put into the chamber back in 2018 after our board recognized that area youth show the qualities necessary to help build the community, support their peers, and they're involved just as much as they are able. And they are our future. Everyone in this room is our future of the community, whether you know it or not. Some past recipients include Devin Ingalls and Mr. Ty Rowland. This is the first year that we've had a tie. The young men and women today have unknowingly demonstrated all of the characteristics necessary to be bestowed this award. Volunteerism, mentorship, hard work, involvement in civic organizations. They have shown Tennessee and a desire to better their community such as it is. In this case, community is defined as a group of people living in the same place or having a particular characteristic in common, which is maybe Highland High School. This county or the community in which they have the opportunity to impact positively, and they have done so, especially in their class. Recipients must be 18 years of age or younger and still be attending school. They must demonstrate leadership, kindness, volunteerism, a sense of civic duty, discipline, and more. Because of this, we have two people being recognized today. So if these two people would please join me, Mr. Corey Dunlap and Katie Boyce. Thank you. 
the new world. seen them before, they're acceptable anywhere. Trust me. They're collectors, you might hold on to them. Just a couple things real quick, I just want to say I'm very proud of these kids, and you're not really kids, and I shouldn't call you kids because I'm a kid myself, so I'm proud of you people. You people have done a good thing, and uh, it takes a lot to step up and, and be involved in some of these clubs, and to go out of the way, and, and to be a community leader and to be a leader in your class, a leader in the school, uh, a leader in what you do in the future. So just good job, congratulations, and these are your classmates, and y'all are one big family, so enjoy the next 17 days, is that right? Enjoy the next. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you to Mr. Barnes and to the Air, to the Chamber of Commerce for coming and presenting that. We really appreciate you guys and all the work that you do with and for our students. So thank you. You guys give them another round of applause.